Hello there guys, it's Tev1990 here. Welcome back to this live stream. It has been a very, very, very long time since we've done a live stream. Um, I've still, well, I've not been feeling too great past couple of weeks. So, uh, well, past couple of weeks, past couple of months, to be honest. Um, but yeah, we're getting there. So, we are playing uh, a game that's featured for a couple of episodes on the channel, but not uh, not very many. It is uh, Autobahn Police Simulator 2. Well, obviously, this is based in. I'm going to say it's Germany due to the fact it says Polizei. Um, I know probably other countries probably have that phrasing on it as well, but there we go. Um, so, yeah, basically, we're just going to jump into the marked car and. <laughs> just see what we can get into just going to go out on a patrol and just drive around and yeah so they do have a little thing on here which um, that is far too loud I don't need it that loud so they do have a little thing which is called police sense and if I press that button it gives me an idea of what cars have you know criminal activity things wrong with them things like that you know I'm not going to be using that button. I'm going to use good old fashioned, yeah, just stopping you because something doesn't look quite right. Or I don't think something's right. Just random, random stops and things. We might, uh, we will be responding to uh, call outs on the radio. Oh. <laughs> just as we said it. Oh, that's going to be us. We're going to go for that one. So, I was going to give you a quick tour around with the vehicle, but uh, apparently not. And just so you know, guys, my driving on this, I cannot drive for Toffee on this. It, the response on the steering is so slow, it's unreal. So, you're going to see me hitting the barriers and cars and things quite a bit and skipping across grass verges and things I can't help that I'm afraid I'm doing my best but it's this game it really is not set up for controller use you need a steering wheel you know so we've got 13 yeah third just over 13 kilometers to get to this shout and we're pretty much maxing out the car already. Unfortunately, the drivers don't tend to move. So you just have to wait until there's a gap and see if you can kind of like slot through. Well, they are moving. Kind of. And as you'll see with this game as well, it uh, it's rather a large game. And the PlayStation can't really handle it that well. So it does get a bit uh, jerky here and there. going straight on there we go so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna turn the sirens off keep the lights on because unfortunately it is just one siren you can get two different versions of the same siren but it gets annoying after a while um, but like I say, it's uh, unfortunate. Oh, I should have been going down there. Damn it. Right. That's the other thing with this game is the GPS on it is so small, I can't barely see it. So. We've already gone the wrong way, so we're going to have to go miles out of our way to get to where we need to go. So it's now going to take us even longer to get there. Oh, Christ. So yes, guys, I hope you're all well. I hope you're all doing okay. So like I said, I've not been uh, not been too great, but I'm uh, on the mend again. I'm definitely enjoying the new job and everything. Got a lot of... Uh, a lot of stress out of the way with that, with leaving uh, NHS 111. I think I'm going this way. Right, 
I need to be going right. I'm going across here. And I think we're going down the country roads now. Oh no, we're going to be going right here. I might just stick the siren on when I get back onto the highway again. So yes. Um, whoops. There you go, this is what I mean, you see. I'm going to be hitting the barriers quite a bit. Oh, crap. Right, here we go. Right. go now we're rocking get some speed up again hopefully I'm not going to miss me turning this time I'm going to have to shift out of their way aren't I I know this isn't how it should, would normally be done, but hey, it's a game. Like I said, this uh, this game hasn't really made that much. It had a couple of episodes. Am I needing this way? Yes. Yeah, it had a, it's had a couple of episodes on the channel, but it, it, it didn't really go much further than that. So, but I thought it was a about timer. I stream something different other than like train sim and things like that. Uh, I so said this one hasn't been seen for a while so I thought why not. Right now we're on the right, this is the route I should have been coming down. I should have been joining there, I do believe. So now we're on the right route. Oh, crying out there. You see, when I was just there, I was moving the stick to steer as best as I could, nothing happening. And yet there, hardly moved the stick and I ended up going into the wall. So, yes, the uh, you definitely. I think you definitely need a steering wheel to play this game, in my personal opinion. So, what are we? What are we doing? We're we maxing out the car at about two nineteen, two twenty. So I know the unmarked unit that you saw probably at the station you might have oh crap see so this is what I mean again move the stick to do a sharp turn nothing happened uh, yeah when we were at the station not long back you may have seen the black what is supposed to be a BMW like this uh, that's the unmarked unit I might swap to the unmarked unit towards the end of the stream just to do one one job in the unmarked so we're still on this way to this accident so I know when we get there we've probably got to secure the scene So we'll probably end up having to put cones and stuff out and then we'll have to do the investigation, take photos and all the rest of it. So Alright, what we're gonna do here, are we gonna skip into the next lane? Yes we are. I really need a steering wheel. Need a steering wheel for this truck simulator 
I'm sure there's another driving one that I've got that I definitely need a steering wheel for. Oh, F1, that's it. F1. Definitely need a steering wheel for that. So... around this corner so we've just got just over nine kilometers to go so rather a big map this is Gotta get some damage there, yeah, there we go. Alright. And there. Alright, slow it down, slow it down. If I go slow around the corners, it generally tends to be okay. It's a bit twitchy though. Oh, there we go. Alright. Ah, sod it. It's a BMW, it's German engineering. A big smash and it only cracks the bumper. <laughs> I know from experience. <laughs> I have to smash, smashing into the rear end of a BMW in my Rover. Completely wrote my Rover off and just cracked the bumper on the Beamer. Yeah, still go on. I'm sure sometimes it takes us the long route round so that we've got to do all this driving. Because let's just have a quick look at the map. Right, where am I? So that's where I am. Just there, don't know if you can see that little thing moving there that's where I need to go now we've come from up here Nissen so it literally has taken us the longest route round I think it would have been a hell of a lot easier to go that way yeah come down on the 109 or use the 68 then come down on the 109 Hey, what do I know? You know? So, I know. Mm, okay. Alright, when we finish this job, I need to go and have a look at this. Because there, there's something there. For, it's called a, a memorial. I want to know what this memorial's all about. So, anyway. Back to the job in hand. And also, just very quickly, I'm sorry about this, guys. Excuse me. Right. There we go. Let's try that. That's better. It's not as bloody loud now. I've, I've got my head. I had my headset turned pretty much all the way down, and it was still blaring so yeah so what we'll do is once we've done this job we'll go and have a look at this memorial and then uh, just to see what that's all about and then we'll uh, and then we'll start the actual police stuff so like that I'll do the police stuff and then when I get a chance I'll go and have a look at this memorial myself Right, so we're going down this bit. We are now. Nah, we're getting really close now. So let's 
stick the siren on and we're going to use the matrix board and flash up accident There we go. Right then. I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. Oh, lovely! Thank you. No. I've recorded the personal details. That was quick. Everything okay so far? Lovely. Right. So we need to. Where's my car? Is there? No. Right, we need to open the car and get some traffic cones out. There we go. Right then. So we are then going to close the boot if I can. No, not important anyway. Right. So we now need to speak to the parties involved. So I think this is one of the parties oh, involved. Fatima. The ambulance will be here any minute. Are you okay? Well, the shock still has me scared stiff. I feel as if my whole body is trembling. Don't worry, Miss Neymar. That is completely normal. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Go mm -hmm. ahead. I'll try to answer as best as I can. Thank you. That's much appreciated. Could you please describe the accident for me? Well, there's not very much to tell. I was driving, and a car came towards me out of nowhere. You don't expect something like that. I braked, and swerved towards the hard shoulder. The car also braked. Unfortunately, he chose to swerve to the same side. I think I saw the face of the other driver shortly before the impact. He seemed quite shocked. Then there was the crash, and I blacked out for a moment. Thanks. Yes, the other driver is a confused, older man. Thank you very much for your help. How do we know that? Because I've not interviewed the other driver yet. She was the first one I came to. Unless my colleagues told me he's a bit confused and he's an older gentleman. But we'll find out for ourselves. Hello, Mr. Arvind. The rescue worker should be here any minute. How are you? Who are you? How did I get here? Ooh. Please, try to relax. He's got a nice little uh, war wound. You've been in an accident. An accident? I can't remember anything. Hmm. Let's reassure him. Please, you're confused. Try to focus. I'm here to help you. Hmm. I'll try. Are you aware that you were driving on the wrong side of the autobahn? Oh dear. It was that other fellow's fault. What fellow? This young lad was driving really close to me. He couldn't wait to get onto the autobahn. He was really pressing me. I guess I panicked a bit and went the wrong way onto the autobahn. I'm so sorry. I really didn't mean to. I know. Can I leave you alone for a moment? Yes. Carry on. You have to do your duty. Oh. Well, ambulance has turned up. Right. So, let's go and just have a quick chat to Paris. Good that you're here. There are two people here who need your help. Could you give me any more information? The woman at the back is Angelica Lehmann. She has visible head injuries and she's in shock. Did the she? The gentleman by the other vehicle is Klaus Arbend. He also has visible head injuries and he's in shock as well. And he also appears to be confused. Thank you very much. We'll see to the patients immediately. Awesome, right, so I've got a photograph of the accident objects, okie dokie. Right, let's see. So, the accident objects. There's that there. So we go to take photo. Take photo. Take photo. And then... So we've done that. So I've got a complete an accident sketch now. 
So, right then. Yeah. There we go. So, parties involved in it. There we go. Look at that. Top marks. Right now, I've just got to get the autobahn open. So, I'll get that bootlid put down if I can. I don't know how the hell. How close do I have to be before I can? Uh, it's the only problem when you've got that open, it's a bit... Oh my word. There we go. Alright. Come on then, let's get in. Right then. So that's that one cleared. Let's have a look at this map very quickly. Right, so we're not that far away, are we? Would you like to fast travel to... Insling. No, I wouldn't like to fast travel to Insling. But it looks... What's that? There we go. It looks like it's, we're heading in the right direction. It's just up the next... Off at the next turn. So... I think that would probably be a good place for us to just have a quick look at. So, Let's go up here. Let's just dodge in and out of the traffic because we want to get there so that we can start responding. Nah. Sorry, not for me. Not taking that job. Alright then. Discovered a point of interest. Oh, there's the memorial. Let's have a look then. Can I interact with it at all? Apparently not. Nope. It's a memorial to something. Oh, sorry, someone. So, that's fair enough. What we're going to do then is I'm going to get back into the vehicle. And then uh, we shall be... Uh, I think we should then head up the autobahn. Let's just have a quick look at the map. Is there anything around here of... Interest on that's that. Hmm. Hold on. Right. So we can't go that way for some strange and unknown reason. So we've got to get on the autobahn. So if we had. Hmm. Would be nice if we could get into the main city, wouldn't it? Okay, else. But 
tell you what, if we start the patrol from there, we'll fast travel to there and then we can see where that takes us. Because are we in a, a lay-by? Is it a service? Yeah, it looks like a lay-by. So let's get on a patrol. See if we can't. Oh, sugar. See if we can't catch. Uh, Why can't we get involved on that? It didn't give me an option to. Oh well. So. Alright then. I have no idea where we're going. I think this is just a a patrol round. I tell you what. Let's check the the rest stop. See if there's anything there that we can pick up. So I, n I don't actually remember if there's a ever any cars in here or anything. Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, there is a car. It's there. They're using their indicator, which is good. Christ Almighty. Uh, okay. Oops. Ah. Oh, lovely. So we've got to go this way then. go up here see where this takes us Why is there literally uh, no traffic on this side? I tell you what, let's give this lorry a tug. See if we can find anything wrong with it. 
Matrix board. Uh, please stop. follow it till it stops this could take a while unless we're going to be pulling off at the next rest stop which could be here or coming up even go on no right Okay. Oh, now we're... Christ's sake. Alright, um, let's go and have a chat to the driver. Hello. All right. Show me your license and registration, please. Thank you. I'll have a look. I'll have a look. So, got to match all these up. So, let the photo to the actual driver. Yep, pass. Lovely. Right then, so. Name to that name. Yeah. Vehicle category. Yeah, that's a pass. Right, what else we got? Okay, so we've got the registration plate. Yeah. Plus the tax, basically. That's okay as well. Sweet. So, they're all okay. Alright, and so, just some more documents, lorry documents. Can I please see the documentation of your driving and resting times? There you go. Everything there you seems go. to be okay. Oh, good. So, more lorry documents, freight documents. Can I see your freight documents, please? Here's the freight documents you require. Perishable food. Excuse me there as I have a drink. So, we've done all the lorry documents, haven't we? So, let's go back. Hmm. Okay. I'll come back to you shortly. Lovely. Right, let's just do some checks on the lorry itself. So, let's... Do tread depth. Tread depth's okay. Check the weight. Axle weight. Lovely. What's inside there? First aid box. Okay. Alright. Let's go. Let's check the lights at the back of the. Oh, great. Okay. Brake light. Lights is okay. Indicator. Yeah. No. Alright, let's. Oh, I forgot to do the back wheels, didn't I? Full. So we do tread depth. Tread depth, okay. Check weight. Axle weight. Tread depth. Tread depth, okay. Check weight. Axle weight. Weight okay.
Yeah. Headlights are... Okay. Right, let me check your cargo. Oh, right, on top of my car. Great. Oh. Right, then. Load OK. Cargo secured. I've accidentally pressed the thingy button. No, it's not coming through anyway. Okay, I would say it's just that first aid kit. I can't remember what it said for it. I'm sure it's supposed to have a wa warning triangle missing. Yep, right. So, we've got to talk to the driver. You don't have an advance warning triangle with you. I'll get a new one as soon as I can. Now, to my knowledge, that it's just a warning for that. Have you taken any drugs? Drugs? Not me. Okay. Alcohol. Drinking. Of course I've not had anything to drink. I think you have. Complete. Driver is not drunk. Happy days. Right, let's go. Just give him a warning. I have to give you a warning, but don't let this happen again. Oh, okay. First aid kit expired. One of two violations detected. Oh dear. Oh, there you go. I don't know all the rules and regulations anyway, so. Right, anyway, let's get back in and let's crack on. Let's see if I can... Let's see if we can get a car next. I know one thing. Next rest stop, I'm going to pull in. Because I need a proper drink for two seconds. Oh, shisa. What's happened here? Oh dear. I think this is just a glitch within the game. I don't think this is... Uh, <laughs> I don't think this is anything that we need to be concerning ourselves with. I think it's just a glitch in the game. I've seen this happen before. And I've tried and there's never... A, there's not anything I can do for it. Negative, car two. You don't spoil us at all, do you? 
<laughs> right, let's turn the lights off and let's just jump out the car. So, what we'll do is we'll do the quick. Excuse me. So yeah, you've already seen. Well, yeah. Excuse me. You've basically seen everything. You've seen the Matrix board. You've seen the lights. You've seen us with the uh, the boot open. I mean, in there we have first aid kits, fire extinguisher, weighing scales. Should have some traffic cones, but they've disappeared. They must have been left at the last scene. Um, yeah, all manner of bits and pieces. So, if you just give me two seconds, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a quick drink. Just bear me two seconds, guys. Okay, so back with you. So we're going to get back in. Um, we're just going to head off back down the autobahn again. Uh, we're going to do a random stop, but I just need to know pretty much where I am, which is there, over here. And it looks like I'm heading down this way. So. That is fine. Yeah, that's fine. So what we're gonna say, what we're gonna do is gonna uh, do another random stop. We're gonna pick on a, a car this time, just so that you can see the difference between, obviously, lorries and cars. Well, I'll say lorry trucks, lorries and cars. But after that, we'll probably pick on a, a lorry to do a random stop on. So let's just head down here, see what we can get into. If I get a, a radio call that I can respond to in the meantime though, then uh, we'll do that. Oh, there's a car. So, we're going to go lights on, signals, matrix, please stop. I think we're going to end up in a pursuit on this one, I've got that feeling. Oh no, no, we're pulling in. Let's just reverse a bit. Alright, let's go up to the driver and speak to them. Speak. Let's go speak. Hello. 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 License and registration. Your license and registration, please. Thank you. I'll have a look. All right then. So let's just do. We'll, we'll do the the photo. Definitely looks like the driver, in my opinion. Uh, the name is the same. Class or vehicle category, yep, yeah, checks out. Let's do the expiry date on the tax. That's okay. Let's do the back, let's do the registration, which looks 
AIO. And there we go, right. Yeah, that all checks out. That's good. Yep. So, let's do... Let's just... I'll come back to you shortly. Let's check the car out. So, let's do... Trip depth. That's okay. Oh, no. Bugger, bugger, bugger. Didn't want to do that. I wanted to do tread depth on the tyres. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. I'll do that one. And that's okay as well. Right. Let's do the lights. So we're going to do brake light. Yeah, that's good. Any case? Yep, yeah, they're good. We'll go back. Swing around to the front. Indicators at the front. Yep, yeah, they're good. And headlights at the front. Well, I didn't see anything, but it says they're okay. So, we're going to have to go with that. So, let's investigate the boot. What have we got in the boot? So... Yeah, that's just a spray bottle of some description. Nothing I'd be too concerned about in there. First aid kit is on hand. First aid kit is expired. Triangle is on hand. Okay. Hmm. Alcohol. He has been to the shop. He's obviously got alcohol. Hmm. Okay. Well, there's no harm in asking, is there? So, uh, da -da 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 -da. so just tell him about the first aid kit. First aid kit has expired. I didn't even know they could expire. Oh dear me. Right, let's just ask. Have you been drinking? No. Drinking is not my thing. But there's alcohol in the car. complete. He's not drunk. That's fine. I'll come back to you shortly. Right. Am I able to look at my notes or anything? Oh Christ, what's happened here? Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Right. So Okay. So let's just do that then. Let's. I have to give you a warning, but don't let this happen again. All right. Oh, okay. So I picked up on the first aid kit. See, this is the thing. It doesn't tell you what you've done. It tells you what you've done wrong, but it doesn't tell you what you should be doing right. So maybe I should have found him. Oh well. No. Fair enough. As you can see, I don't know the laws at all. Oh, okay. What was happening there then? The car was shooting off to the to the left. So what we're going to do now, guys, is we're going to see if we can do a spot check on a, an Arctic... I know there's one behind me somewhere, but we'll do a spot check on an Arctic lorry. But once again, in the meantime, if we get a, a radio message through, then we'll go and do that instead.
This an Arctic? Looks like it. Oh, no. I've got to go this way anyway. I can't do that one. Asphalt. <laughs> I like that. Yeah, I think if I'm going to do some more live streams on this game, I need to figure out the the things that you know know when to issue warnings and when to issue fines and all the rest of it. This is an Arctic. Yeah, it is. Oh. Yeah, we'll go and do it. How far away is it? 17 bloody kilometres. Jesus. Wept. Right, let's just have a quick look on the map. Because that is ridiculous. Where am I? What's happening with this controller? Something going wrong with it. It's... Uh, right, where am I? I'm there. And I need to go there. Oh, okay, yeah, uh, this is the quickest route. Bloody hell. Okay. Right, let's do it. Let's see if we can do it all on an inside view. Bloody hell. Yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. I think, right, there's something I do need to do. I think I need to swap controllers. Just bear with me two seconds, guys. We should be back. I don't know if we're still on air or not. Yes, we are. Right. There we go. So, yeah. Sorry about that, guys. The, um... The controller that I was using kept wanting to swing the car off to the left. For some strange and unknown reason. To be honest with you, I think I need some new controllers, if I'm being brutally honest. The, uh, I've had these uh, controllers pretty much ever since I first got the PlayStation, and uh, yeah, they're well-worn and well-dropped on the floor quite often and everything, so... Let's just get down to this broken down vehicle as fast as we can. And this time we'll try and put the correct radio code in as well. So that we can uh, score a few extra points on it.
That's the other thing that you don't see on this as well. So you don't see any other police cars, which I think is a bit of a shame. Because it would be nice to see them as well. You know, particularly if you end up in a pursuit with somebody, you can call in a bit of backup and... When we're getting closer to our broken down vehicle, which is good. Maxing out the car here. Oh, ooh, that was close. So, are we carrying on? Yeah, let's carry on. So, we'll try and make this job a uh, one that I get top marks for as well. There we go. This is what I mean. It's, ah, oh yeah, yeah, I need a steering wheel. because then I can, with a steering wheel and a set of pedals and everything, I'll be able to judge it a hell of a lot better. I don't, then again, I don't even know if this, uh, excuse me, if this game supports steering wheels or not. I know a truck driver does, but it's only for certain ones. We're really not that far away now. And I need another bloody drink. Can I change my radio code? Yes, I can. So that button's working now, that's good. I think now we can put the matrix board on to say that there's a hazard on the road. Oh no, Tommy, it's on the other side of the bloody carriageway. Oh, crying out loud. Keep going down. All right, let's turn that matrix sign off.
Seems to be a lot of confused older drivers around at the minute. Right then, here we go. Now we're on the right side of the road, I think. Crying out loud, what's going on here? Right, let's put that matrix board back on. Hazard. There we go, look at that. Right then. What have we got? What can we do? I'll take care of checking the personal details before you speak to the people. Okay. In the meantime, you can take care of something else. I'm sure I can. I've recorded the personal details. Everything okay so far? Okay, okay. All right. Question the driver. Hello. Is there a problem with your car? Oh, ah, hello. Well, I'm having a spot of car trouble of sorts. How can you have car trouble of sorts? Well, it's a bit embarrassing. Well, it can't be all that bad. Yeah, well, I've run out of petrol. Really? You don't keep an eye on the fuel gauge? There are quite a few petrol stations along here. Yes, but... But what? Have you seen the price of petrol? You're not serious, are you? Well, yes. Petrol is always so expensive at the petrol stations along the Autobahn. I thought I could make it a bit further. Road safety must always be. Oh. You do realize that, don't you? Of course. I know I sometimes take things a bit too far with my thriftiness. My wife is always saying so. I'll be on my way shortly. I'm just about to call a friend who'll bring me a canister of petrol. What should we do? Should we tow him away, or should we just... Hmm... Very well then. I'll put mercy before justice. But only this once. Don't ever do this again. Oh, thank you. No, certainly not. Hmm... Now, whether that was the right thing to do or not is a totally different matter. So, but what we're going to do now is we're going to set off along the autobahn again and hopefully we can run into an articulated truck. Not literally, but knowing me, I probably will. <laughs> Excuse me.
And just check something. Yep, good. We're all good. I think I spy an articulated truck. Oh, okay. No, not for me. Oh no, it's the car that we do. Oh, and we're in a pursuit, are we? Right. I know what I need to do here. There we go. Right. We're taking him back to the station then. Right. How far? Oh, it's not that far. Not that far at all. He says. I think what we'll do, obviously, when we get back to the station, then, we will... I think we'll just... What we'll do on this particular occasion is we'll swap to the van. Yeah. Maybe on the next live stream that I do, I will use the uh, unmarked vehicle. So yes, we'll get a couple of uh, things done with the van, and then we'll go from there. Because with the van, we've got a big uh, a board on the top of it that we can uh, use to block lanes off and things. So that's going to be fun. Let's just move out to the outside lane. Whoa, Christ almighty. Sugar, 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 sugar. How's about no? So I don't know how far we are away from the home station, but... Oops. Car 11 here. So that's like I say, we're going to get back to the station, put this guy in custody, and then we're going to swap the marked car for the marked van.
I say they might have van, we have but it don't actually have an undercover van. <laughs> Going straight on, yep. Yeah. Right, let's just zip through here. So what, let's just put these on. Looks like something like five kilometres now. So it's not that bad. Oh, are they? Yes, guys. I think this might be a, a, a one that I uh, not that a, not a regular one that I'll be doing, but it's definitely a one that will appear on the channel every now and then. Is uh, this particular game on the live streams anyway? Because uh, get a couple of people. You know, in the chat and everything, this could turn out to be quite a, a fun little. Uh, or it could turn out to be a fun little stream. Who knows? So, let me just do a check. Oh, okay. So yeah, we'll get back. We'll put him in custody and then we'll do one job in the van because uh, I unfortunately need to be getting off to bed very soon because I do have work tomorrow. Right, I think we need to be coming off here. Yes, we do. Unfortunately, I can't. I've got a prisoner. There we go, I've just changed the radio code to 2 there as well. It means on standby at the station. Right then. I think in the next video as well I'll do a quick station tour for you. But I'm not going to do it on this video. Like I said, I want to get in that van, just do one job and then call it a night. So... That's fine. So let's Yeah. That'll do. And then the front, yeah, we've got those, yeah. We got those, we got yeah. Yep. So I think what we'll do then is we will completely ignore a vehicle has broken down at a potentially hazardous spot. Can someone please secure the site? Get back onto the autobahn and we'll pull over a truck if we can find one, or I say truck, an Arctic if we can find one.
there's one so we're going to pull in here the lights on and we're gonna use the matrix board because the other board is that one so we use the matrix say please stop Maybe I can... Ah, hang on a minute. Alright, switch it off. Right then, well I've managed to get him to pull over. No, I can't pull out of there just yet, can I? this lane I think we've just buggered ourselves up with that one bear with me right we're gonna take switch off that Okay, we can do it then. Right, let's Hello. do it. Hello. Hello. Documents, license registration. Thank you. I'll have a look. So. Oh, straight away I can notice a discrepancy. Looks like the guy that should be driving. see your freight documents, please. <coughs> freight information, textile products. Textile products. Okay, dokes. Can I please see the documentation of your driving and resting times? There you are. Everything seems to be okay. Right. So, we're not going to let on that we know about the... I'll come back to you shortly about the different name on the driving documents so tread depth check weight tread depth depth low check weight uh, 
Excuse me. Depth low. So there's lots of tread depth lows. Weight is okay. go to the front then investigate oh, indicator lights are okay headlights they're okay all right let's go to the back can I open up there we go all right and what do we have load is okay it's not, doesn't look as if it's properly secured though. Right, um, technical faults, tire tread depth. Tire is too thin. Well, aren't you meticulous? But you're right. Tire condition is very important. Yes, it is. Have you been drinking? No, I only drive when I'm sober. Okay. Have you taken any drugs? Of course not. I'd never do that. No. I'm going to go with that one. Right. So, he's got something to hide. You see, the thing is, right? I'll come back to you shortly. Am I able to bring up a notebook or anything? No. That's the problem. Oh, we're going stupid now, aren't we? Oh. Right, I, I, we're going to end up going stupid on this one. Right, I'm going to end the stream there, guys, because I don't think I'm going to be able to get out of this. So uh, I hope you have enjoyed this one, and uh, we will catch you in the next one. Hopefully in the next one, we'll actually be better at it. So, uh, yeah. Catch you on the next one, guys. Ta-da for now.